What's up guys, it's Jay, more than the kill, and I'm back here on Destiny. And yesterday, Bungie released a brand new hotfix that fixed a few things like the Pocket Infinity's recharge rate. They also made Crota's End's raid helmets drop on normal mode, and it fixed the Vault of the Glass gear with the Oracle Disruptor perk that was actually allowing you to shoot through Knight Shields. And Bungie was like, hey! It's not right, motherfucker. <laughs> so, there is something else that was fixed that, that, that actually wasn't on that list. And Bungie decided to let us figure it out for ourselves. And that is that they made the husk of the pit weapon drop from the blades of Crota, finally. So, I've been farming for like the last three hours for this goddamn gun. And it wouldn't drop at all. Until, until you guys that follow me on Twitter, we were talking about it. I was like, hey, where, where, where are these blades of Crota? show up on the Forgotten Shore, and you guys are like, hey, if you're looking for that husk in a pit, all you gotta do is just go to the first mission from the Dark Below DLC called Fist of Crota, which actually is pretty hilarious because it was made replayable in the hotfix yesterday, and you guys were like, just go in this mission, and right after the first area, there will be a guaranteed Blade of Crota every single time and you can farm this really fast by just blasting through all this crap on your sparrow including Omnigul. Fuck Omnigul. Fuck her straight up her wizard asshole. <laughs> so you guys were actually right. On my third motherfucking try I actually got the blade of Crota to drop a husk of the pit. Woo! Yeah! Give that an old Ric Flair. Got that white weapon, son. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are like, Mac, why the hell are you farming for a white weapon? Uh, I'm, I'm like, that, that, that's actually an easy question. Because if you level this gun up with an Abomin Orb, it will become a higher rarity weapon. This is actually the evolving weapon that I was talking about pre-release to the Dark Below DLC. And I'm not sure if this actually has a blue weapon evolution. But I do know that eventually, if you keep on leveling this gun up, it will become the legendary assault rifle, the Eidolon Ally, and eventually the Necrochasm Exotic Assault Rifle. So... Technically, you're not really farming for a white weapon, you're actually farming for the eventuality that this gun will become something better than it is, and uh, I honestly, I, I hope it really does, because right now, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not that impressive. Color me Shania Twain here, but I, I just I ain't impressed, and I, I know looking at these stats, I know there's a lot of people out there that swear by guns, like, you know, Atheon's Epilogue. You also have the Payback SOS. It's in the brand new DLC now from the uh, Vanguards, I'm pretty sure. I picked one up last night, actually. And also the uh, Dr. Nope. I, I know a lot of you guys like these really high fire rate guns with low impact, but I'm, I'm sorry, man. I need a, need a little bit of... Mm. Yeah, you know, I, I need to get... Mm. <laughs> this you guys know what I'm talking about. You, you got the balled up fist. You just mm, right up, all up in there. Oh yeah, we're gonna get all up in there. Ooh, nice and deep like. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. You can farm this gun pretty easily by just going to the first mission in Earth from the Dark Below DLC called Fist of Crota, and you just go ahead and beat the shit out of that. Blade of Crota. Now, I actually tried for a second one for about another hour after this, and it wouldn't drop again, so I'm not sure if you can only have one at a time or not, but I really wanted to dismantle one to see if it gives you an abomin orb, but uh, I asked one of my subscribers on Twitter if they were willing to do it. Are you willing to do it for science, motherfucker? <laughs> and he was like, yes! I'm willing to do it for science! And he dismantled it and said all he got was weapon parts, so uh, there's you guys out there that, that want to believe those goddamn trolls, you're, you're wasting your own time. Um, I'm telling you here, fuck that noise. Do not dismantle your husk in a pit. If anything, if you're not going to use it, just throw it in the, uh, in the vault and you'll get at it another time when you're bored. You're like, oh yeah, you know what, I got, got this gun, I'm going to go ahead and level it the fuck up. So, my name is Jay, more than after kill. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. If you could leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. Especially since it's 7.30 in the goddamn morning and I've been up all night fucking farming for a goddamn white weapon. 
because I love you guys. And uh, I'm going to make these videos to help you guys get along in this game. And, you know, you don't have to waste three hours doing patrols all night, looking for Blades of Crota in the Forgotten Shore. And then you have people on Twitter like, hey, yo, like, what's going on? They're like, you're doing it all wrong. <laughs> Kudos to you guys. You get extra internet points if you know what movie I just referenced right there. So, like I said, my name's Jay. We're the Afterkill. Thanks for watching, and I'm going to see you guys later.